Hey guys, welcome. Welcome to week two. We got the week two preview coming up at you right now. All right. After a cool week one, it was a lot of fun. Everybody uh, kind of got used to what they're going to be seeing this year. Not so much yet. Um, we don't know exactly what's going to happen, but we got a good idea of uh, injuries, what teams are going to go, how they're going to move forward, whatnot. Uh, anyway, time to get started on the uh, week two preview. First matchup, we have uh, coming off a loss, the Big Blue World Champs versus the Colorado Antlers. Uh, now, Jeremy, you got Wilson, Anderson, Lynch, Beckham, Cooks, Demarius, Thomas, of course, because Jordy Nelson's hurt. Uh, Miller, it's your tight end, Dan Bailey, the kicker, and you got the Broncos defense against Kansas City. That plays tomorrow, guys. We got uh, Thursday night football on, uh, yeah. It'll be happening. Uh, you, Mark, you got Andrew Luck. Uh, Johnson there in Arizona is your running back. Not Chris Johnson, but the other guy. Uh, we'll see what happens. Lamar Miller, Anquan, uh, A.J. Green, James Jones, uh, Allen, Dwayne Allen. He's a good thing. Uh, Prater and the Packers. Yep. For this matchup, gentlemen, the projected Big Blue World Champs at 134. Colorado Antlers at 98. All right. Next matchup, uh, the Fairway Flyers versus the Cornfed Fatties. This is uh, Jonathan versus Brandon. Uh, Jonathan coming off a win. Uh, Brandon, I can't remember if you lost last week or what. Uh, anyway, Tannehill, uh, LaShawn McCoy, uh, Williams, D'Angelo, who did very well for Pittsburgh last week. There, Jonathan. I hope he keeps it up. Aguilar, Aguilar, Aguilar. Anyway, he's Philadelphia receiver. Uh, hopefully he sucks this week because the Cowboys are playing him. Uh, Johnson, your wide right receiver, White, your wide right receiver, uh, Gronk, tight end. He's got a big game again this weekend against Buffalo. Uh, hopefully Buffalo comes through and beats New England because I, I don't like cheaters. And the Rams defense. Uh, corn fed fatties. Brandon, you got Eli, you got Hill, you got AP. Hopefully he plays better this week because he, he didn't show too much against San Francisco. Uh, anyway, Devontae Adams, Randall Cobb. Uh, Jordan, uh, Matthews. Yeah, you got Matthews, a receiver. Uh, Jimmy Graham, uh, Goskowski, and the Browns. You got the Browns defense. Tennessee is playing Cleveland. Uh, and you saw what Cleveland did to Tampa Bay. And I kind of rank Tampa Bay and Cleveland's defense the same. Uh, I don't know. I think they're going to get picked apart. Might want to think about that, bud. You got till Sunday. Anyway, uh, projection for this. Brandon, 134. Um, Jonathan, uh, 120. So good luck to you guys. Next matchup, we have the Colorado Reapers against the Buckeye Nation. Uh, Mike versus Brian. Uh, Peyton, Mike, hopefully Peyton will have a better week than he did last week. Uh, Abdullah, he's, he, Detroit's actually using that running back fairly well. Uh, Danny Woodhead, oh man, if you'd have had him in last week, no telling what would have happened. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald, getting kind of old. We'll see. Uh, Garcon, Marshall. Same to be said about them. Uh, Bennett, hey, he's at an old too. You got you got a lot of old players there, Mike. Uh, about as old as you. It's crazy. Uh, Jan Janikowski, man, he's old too. And the Ravens defense, Mike, I'm going to chalk this up for a loss. It's projected to be the closest game of the week, but I don't see it that way. I think it's going to be a blowout by Buckeye Nation. And here's why. Aaron Rodgers is pissed, and he wants to do better this week. Uh, Giovanni Bernard. Not getting that much looks um, for Cincinnati right now as much as Jeremy Hill is. Uh, Alfred Blue, he's going to step it up. Carlos Hyde, amazing week last week. Let's see if he can keep that going. Uh, Antonio Brown, amazing week last week. Uh, Jeremy Macklin's facing, let's see, who we got Kansas City playing? Denver. Yeah, that's tomorrow's game. Uh, you got Green uh, as your tight end. Justin Tucker as your kicker. I like Justin Tucker because he's a Longhorn. Uh, and the 49ers defense. So, Projected Brian at 93, Mike 87. Buckeye Nation over Colorado Reapers. All right. Next matchup, we have me, the Texas Cake Sanders, versus Rodney, the Taco Corp Eskimos. Uh, and I wrote something in a little uh, preview, and I said it's too damn hot for Eskimos to be around here. Uh, anyway, this is the matchup we got. I got Romo, Mark Ingram, DeMarco Murray, Joseph Randall, Julian Edelman. I'm starting him this week. Uh, Julio Jones, Cook, Parkey, Texans. Um, I'm, I'm starting Edelman instead of T.Y. Hilton because I think T.Y. Hilton's going to be uh, he's going to be out. Um, they're showing that a, a little strain in his knee or whatnot. We'll see what happens. Um, Rodney, for you, you got Brady, you got Blunt, 
Blunt's back off of suspension. We'll see what happens there. Uh, hopefully Tom Brady lays an egg. Uh, Justin Forsett, who I traded for you. I traded you this week, Justin Forsett. Guys, thanks for all you... Uh, all the people that voted, uh, we had eight. I think I saw eight votes total on that. Uh, so thanks for getting there and, and being active on on the polls for the voting and all that. I think uh, what I adjusted was the uh, the league poll. Every time a trade gets uh, inputted, it creates a commissioner poll. So I think that's going to uh, benefit us. And so just log into the league and uh, it'll show up. Uh, anyway. Uh, Rodney, you got uh, Wright, Kendall Wright. You picked him up. That's pretty good. Uh, Megatron, Kyle Rudolph, who did pretty good against San Francisco. Uh, Cat and Zero, or uh, does he play? Is Cat and Zero? Is he the? I think he's Arizona or Kansas City. Anyway, he's not as good as Parky. <laughs> and the Lions defense uh, projected this game uh, also going to be a close one according to the website. Uh, 123 cake standers, uh, 117 Eskimos. We will see what happens. And the next matchup, excuse me, gentlemen, I got to get the next sheet. Uh, the next sheet. Hold on, where's that? There it is. Nope. I'll be dipped in shit. Anyway, uh, who did I not talk about? Well, I'm really laying an egg right now. Uh, let's see here. Hooligans versus, well, let's just bring it up, guys. Excuse me. I want to take this time to remind you guys, uh, monitor the waiver wire. There's a lot of transactions this week. Um, hopefully, people continue to be active. Y'all are doing good at that, and I thank you. I thank you for that. Uh, Death by Taxes and the Hooligans is the final matchup we're going to talk about. Uh, right now, Dave, you have Matt Ryan in there. Hopefully he does well again. Uh, you got Eddie Lacy, Latavius Murray, Jarvis Landry. Tannehill's throwing to him, and uh, I think he's going to continue to do it. Jordan Cameron and Jordan Reed. You got two tight ends there this week there, Dave. Uh, Mason Crosby, kicker, Dolphins defense. Projected at 107. Chris. Drew Brees, Jamal Charles, Freddie Jackson, Doug Martin. Doug Martin isn't uh, doing too much. Vincent Jackson. You got two Tampa Bay guys. When one of them gets the ball, the other one's lacking. So think about that, bud. Charles Johnson, Minnesota. Jason Witten, good tight end. Uh, Steven Hauschka and Buffalo Bills defense. That's awesome. The Buffalo Bills defense on here, for some reason, is only projected three points. But I think Buffalo is going to stuff New England. I'm hoping for it. Anyway, uh, projection for this, 107, death by taxes, 101, hooligans. So, um, gentlemen, that does it for the week two preview. Uh, enjoy the game tonight, guys. Um, be careful whatever you're doing. And uh, we'll talk to you again on Tuesday. And enjoy some football this weekend.